For bonus content, new episodes, and a clip of Jordan Peterson in debate that you won't find here on YouTube, sign up at thebigconversation.show. I recognise that I could not come on the train here, have a really interesting discussion, meet Justin again, have a nice glass of cool water, you know, without a load of other people doing it for me. That gratitude, which is one of the things that you quite rightly yes. put in into your book, it gives gives good place to it. And it's a very important. Um, that doesn't come from anything religious, unless you say, because I was brought up a Christian, it came from there. But I don't base it on that anymore. I, I would Where like, do you think it comes from? I think it comes from a recognition that um, I've done a lot of meditation. I meditated every day for 30 years, and I think this has something to do with it. But it's observing the inner consequences of different ways of confronting the world. And I'm much more in recent years in the habit of waking up in the morning, even if it's raining in January in England, <laughs> and looking out and going, oh, and it's, it's a feeling of gratitude, not gratitude towards God or towards anybody or anything, just free-floating gratitude. That seems to have a positive consequence. I set the day up better and it's kind of self-perpetuating. It pops up again and again. Do you again. think you can just have gratitude in general or must gratitude always be given towards something and ultimately Well, that, that, that's a good question. That, 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 that goes back to our discussion about acting things out. Like, gratitude is something you feel towards something. And you can say, well, I don't feel it towards anything in particular. And I would say, all right, well, the diffuse nothing that you feel it towards serves in your psychological hierarchy as your equivalent of God. Uh, so, no, but it's gratitude. You know, this morning, for example, I looked out and it was so um, green. Uh, we've had frosts and it's been white the last few days and it was green this morning. And it was just gratitude to the universe, if you like. It's not really God because it's not a creator. It's not anything I can pray to. It's, I mean, I know. Why well, feel gratitude towards it? Then. I don't know, but I find That's it. Fine. I, I know that you tackle in this book that, that happiness is not an ultimate good. And I, I no, struggle no, this way. It's just right. not an ultimate goal. Oh, okay. I didn't all right. say it wasn't an ultimate all right, goal. All right. All right. Okay. You're, There's a big you, difference you, yes, between those right, things. you're right. You pick me up correctly on that. Um, nevertheless, we are happiness-seeking creatures, and I have found through practice and growing older that acting gratitude, thinking gratitude, feeling gratitude makes me happier and seems to okay, kind of so rub off I, on other okay, people. So I, I don't, I don't think a, we are happiness-seeking creatures, and I think it's a low goal. Not because there's something wrong with being happy, because, you know, thank God if you get to be happy now and then. But I don't think that that's what we seek. I think we seek a meaning that's deep enough to sustain us through tragedy. Mm -hmm.